third grade friends, this is Miss Morgan. I am going to try to work with you guys through a few elapsed time problems today. Just wanna let you guys know that I miss you so, so very much and I would so much rather be sitting in our classroom working through these together. Um, so please give me lots and lots of grace as we try to work through these problems using technology. I'm gonna share my screen with you um, as I'm doing that, I'd like for you to get a piece of notebook paper so you can work through these with me as I'm explaining them to you, okay? Okay, guys, so we have, we're going to do some elapsed time. Before we start these problems, I just want to review with you that elapsed time is the amount of time that passes between one time and another time. And usually with elapsed time problems, we have the start time and the end time, and we may be looking for the time in between, or we may be missing the start time or the end time, and we're looking to solve for that, to find that. There are two different strategies that we have used already last week. We used the open number line and the T-chart. Today, I'm gonna work with you on solving some elapsed time word problems using an elapsed open number line okay so let's look at our first problem together okay so looking at our first problem it says let me move myself so that you can see the problem it says the mom ran errands for 45 minutes if she left home at 12 15 what time did she return home so I already know that I'm solving to find a time. Let's read that one more time to get some details. It says, the mom ran errands for 45 minutes. If she left home at 12.15, what time did she return home? So my question is asking me for a return time. Right here it says, uh-oh, hold on guys. Gotta find my um, pencil on here. I thought I already had it up. Here we go. All right, so it says, what time did she return home? So if she's coming back home, that means most likely we are looking for the end time. Her return time would be her end time. It also tells me that she ran the errands for 45 minutes. So that is the amount of time she took. It says she left home at 1215. So if she's leaving her house at 1215, that is not the time that she returns, but that is going to be our start time. So in order to do this problem, we're gonna use an open number line. If you look at my open number line, this means that our start time is 1215, and we're still solving for our end time, the time she returns, okay? So up here, I also can see that she ran her errands for 45 minutes. So that means from 1215, it took her another 45 minutes before she was finished. So that means, just like we did last week, we need to use this open number line to show that 45 minute interval of time. So I like to use 10 minute hops because those are pretty simple for me. So 1215, if I add 10, first of all, how many 10s do I need to add if I'm working with 45 minutes? How many 10s are in 45? Well, if you look at this, there are, ooh, I don't wanna, erase the number sorry guys there are four tens in 45 so we need to do four 10 minute hops if we're doing 10 minute hops so we've got one 10 minute hop 12 15 plus 10 is 12 25 okay then if we do 12 25 plus 10, because we said we needed four 10 minute hops, that's gonna be 12, 35. Okay, then if we do another 10 minute hop, 12, 35 plus 10 
would be 12 what? 35, 10 more is 45, okay? Then if we do another 10 minute hop, we're gonna be 1245 plus 10, which would be 1255. Okay, then I've got 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes that I've added. But my problem does not say that she ran errands for 40 minutes. It says that she ran errands for how many minutes? 45. So that means that I need another five minute hop before I am finished. So 12.55 plus five would give me one o'clock. Because remember, we don't do 1260 with time, correct? We move from 1255 to one o'clock. So that means that my end time that she would be done shopping would be one o'clock. So now going back, my question said, what time did she return home? So just like all of my other word problems, I would write my sentence, mom returned home at 1 p.m. And then I could always go back and double check that work. Okay, I have one more problem for us to do together. This one is a little bit different. So pay attention and listen very carefully, okay? So first, let's look at just the word problem before we start doing any of our work. So our second word problem says, Max is watching it rain outside. It stopped raining after 36 minutes at 6.58 p.m. What time did he start watching it rain? So let's read it one more time. Max is watching it rain outside. It stopped raining after 36 minutes at 6.58 p.m. What time did he start watching it rain? First things first, my question asks, what time did he start watching it rain. So that means I'm going to be looking for the start of the rain. So this time I'm not looking for the end time, I'm looking for the start time, okay? I also notice that it says it rained for 36 minutes. So that's the amount of time between the start time and the end time. It says that it stopped at 6.58. So if it stopped at 6.58, what is that going to be? That is going to be our end time. So again, I'm gonna use an open number line here. I've already labeled my end points. I have my start time, my end time, but I, do I know my start time this time? I do not know my start time, so that's my question. My end time, if I go back in my problem, it says that it stopped after 36 minutes at 6.58. So over here for my end time, I'm going to write 658. Now, the other piece of information that I have, I know that it rained for 36 minutes. So if it ended at 658 and I'm going back to my start time. Now remember with the number line, when you go back, you're not adding this time. You're going to subtract if you're going back on the number line. So we need to subtract 36 minutes. Again, for intervals for me, 10 minutes are the easiest. So when I look at 36 minutes, I know there are three groups of 10. So I need to take 10 away three times. So if I start at 658 and I take 10 away, that's gonna put me where? That's gonna put me at 648, okay? Now, I've done one 10, I need to do two more. So if I take another 10 away, I'm gonna be at 638. Now, I've done two groups of 10, so that is 20 minutes, but I need 36 minutes. So let's do another 10 minute hop. 638 minus 10 is gonna give me six. 28. Now, am I done? Let's see how many minutes I have subtracted. 10, 20, 30. Does my problem say 30? No, my problem says 36, so I am not done. 
from this point, you could subtract just six. Or if you're not sure, you could do a subtraction pop of five. 628 minus five is 623. And so now I have 10, 20, 30, 35. Problem says 36, so then I just need one more one minute hop. 623 minus one is 622. So I'm gonna go back and add up again, just to be sure. 10, 20, 30, 35, 36. Yes, it rained for 36 minutes. So that means that the start time would be 6, 22 p.m. Okay, so just like any other word problem, we still need to have our sentence, which hopefully, oh, it's a little crooked. It says, Max started watching the rain at, and we would fill this in as 6, 22 p.m. And boys and girls, I do apologize that my handwriting is not the best on the smart notebook. It's kind of like when you guys work on Shobi. So I apologize. I hope that you can read that. I hope that this will help you with your elapsed time word problems. If you followed along with this one and you have questions, you can always go back and ask your teacher. You can ask me, you can email us, send us a remind message, or you can always watch the video again if you need to watch the video again for some hints because it should help you a lot with two out of your four problems for today. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I hope that you are all doing fantastic. And please know that we all miss you a whole, whole lot. So I wish you the very, very best. Take care and let me know if you have questions. Bye guys.